Hey you guys, welcome back to another video, and if I look the same as in my previous video, it's cause I am. Cause I'm doing these videos back to back. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do them on two separate days or if I'm just gonna upload them together because, I don't know. But this is the, uh, two spooky Halloween BJD monster tag. And... I think this person is no longer on YouTube because when I tried to go to their channel, um, it is, uh, not there. <laughs> it doesn't exist. So, let me grab a doll because <laughs> I forgot to do it when I ended the video last time. Okay. Got it. Got the doll. Although it doesn't really pertain to straight up dolls, but, you know. Okay. Okay, <laughs> after struggling, I decided to put him on a stand to force him to stand and not have issues. So there we go. I'm gonna stand him right here. Behave. <sighs> Good lord. Okay, so this has a couple, I think one or two of these questions is kind of similar to the other tag, but... I just thought it was interesting, so I'm just going to, uh, do them. Uh, werewolf. How was, how has the hobby transformed me? Um, and really, uh, I kind of want to say I haven't changed. I'm just more social than I was ever before, I feel. Um, before I didn't like talking to people. Before I didn't really have that many friends. And stuff like that. So, um, I guess overall just more so social and stuff like that. Vampire. The dreadful sun. How do you feel about, feel about and cope with yellowing or more generally, or more generally the aging of dolls? Um, to be honest, there is no way around it. Everything and anything ages. Rather, it's in the sun or in a closet, in a box, under a bunch of stuff. Um, and that's even with Monster High. Monster High dolls darken with age. Um, so, like, even not in the sun, they're gonna get darker. And with BJDs, they happen. Well, he's not even resin, so he's gonna age a little differently. But, um,. BJDs get yellow, um, depending on the skin tone, I think they, they get yellow, or I guess they all get yellow, I don't know. But, um, there's no way around it, and it, it, to be honest, it doesn't really bother me that much, so. Plus, I only have Kira, and Kira, for the most part, is always either covered up or, well, for the most part, she's sealed, so it doesn't, has no effect on her. Plus, my room is always almost in complete darkness, other than the lights I have. Um, Frankenstein's monster. Have you ever uh, modded a doll? If so, tell us about it. If you can magically try any mod without... Oh, I guess I didn't copy the rest of that question. I'm assuming without complications, what would I do? Um, I have never, I guess, modded a BJD. I have modded a few monster highs. Like, um, I've implanted, implanted tails, um, so I've taken a monster high tail and attached it, like, drilled a hole and attached it to another monster high body. Um, that's pretty much the only mod I, I've done. But a mod I would like to do, I'm not quite sure, actually. Um, I'm pretty fine with all of my dolls, and I don't really have a need to mod anything extensively, so I keep forgetting that, like, that's, I don't know, my hair, blah, and it's weird like this because it's been up all day, so, I just don't know, I don't know the answer to that one. Next one, zombie, have you ever caught the marketplace virus? Um, name some unplanned purchases that jumped out of, out and infected, infected you. 
This is an older tag, I feel like, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Published to 2015. It's pretty old. Um, but this is what, what came up when I was looking up um, Halloween tags. Anyway. Uh, I don't... I'm not on DOA. And as of right now, I'm not very happy with DOA. So, I think I have an account, but I just never went on there. I just never used it. Um... And then there's some stuff going on right now, so I, I'm not too happy with them. But, um, I do follow some groups on Facebook, and, um, every once in a while we'll see something that I want to get, that I want. I'm not a, um, compulsive buyer, I guess, like that, and I don't always have money, like, all the time. It's not how my life works. So I don't really just, like, oh, I like that, I'm gonna buy that right now. Um, I don't, I don't have, I don't, I, I don't do that. Um, though, I guess, like, the only impulse, um, dolls I've ever gotten were Monster High dolls, and a lot of them were just because they were on sale, so I grabbed them. Um, so I guess that's kind of, like, my only impulse buys I've ever dolly gotten. <laughs> dolly gotten. It's a new word. Um, skeleton. What is my favorite body sculpt? And it says forget head, so I guess it's 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 talking about like the actual body of it all. He's so pouting because he is in a stand right now. But um, he's looking sideways too, so he's looking at me like. <sighs> but um, I don't know what. There's so many sculpts I love. Like Granado is so detailed. So I like those, but they are so <laughs> expensive. Um, Doll Chateau, I think it's like more or less the aesthetics that I like and not like the actual sculpts. Um, but like Doll Chateau, um, Impel Doll is actually a pretty good sculpts. Has some really nice sculpts. Um, and I, I like Resin Soul. Like the next couple of my dolls will most likely be from Resin Soul. So. Mainly because of cost, and second secondly, they're the ones I like, so that's what I'm getting. So, um, yeah. Good. Which. Some food in the corner of my mouth. How, uh, what is it? It's not polite, like, nice, I guess. I don't know. Sorry. Distractions. Um, which name some dolls that are magical? Seeing them on your, seeing them on your dashboard inspires you. Can you can be general sculpts or specific dolls owned by talented friends? Um, I don't know. I pull up inspiration from a lot of places and from a lot of different people, but like. Miss Mantis um, is one person I enjoy seeing her work. Um, Monster High artists, I've said this a couple of different times, but like uh, Monster High guy, I'm really loving his. Like a lot of his most awesome dolls come during the Halloween time, and I love it. Um, a lot of his dolls every other time of the year is even like still awesome, but I love his Halloween dolls. But I think that's just because I'm. I'm, I love Halloween. Um, who else? I'm just gonna open Instagram real quick. Um, oh, Sugary Cupcake. I love her style. It's, I think it's very unique and it inspires me. <laughs> um, but I follow like a billion different artists on here. Just go on my Instagram and you guys could probably... Like, go, just go to my follows. I, I follow not only just doll people, but I follow a bunch of, like, actual... That is wrong. I follow a bunch of traditional and digital artists as well. Um, is what I meant to say. Not actual art. Everything is art, in my opinion. I just... Can't even English. But I do want to, like... I saw something on here that I was just like, oh, that's awesome. What the heck? 
Sometimes Instagram is a weird, weird place, y'all. Very strange. Like, there's this person that sculpts. <laughs> like, look at that. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. And then, like, I just actually started following Susie Plum. And I like what she did with her newest doll. It's pretty cool. And then, um... I could be here forever, literally just showing you a diff like billions and billions of art. Like, he's pretty cool. He does a bunch of Monster High art. You can see him right there. Um, uh, this person does a lot of like doll mods and different kind of stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, but Creatures of Nat is pretty awesome. She's actually been working on this giant dragon and it's pretty freaking cool. Um, Glenn Arthur Art. So, that's, that's, that's a lot of the different things that inspire me. And I took it, what? <clears throat> okay, sorry. Um, and I don't know how it went from dolls that inspire me to, like, full-on art, but sorry about that. Anyway, um, Ghost. The one that got away. Do any limited or rare dolls haunt you to this day and I'm still hoping that one day Junkie Spot will probably restock it but there is a Fallen Doll or is it Fallen Doll or Doll Leaves? I don't remember which one but it's a Fox doll it's ABS plastic and it's about the same size as Kira it was going to be my birthday doll but they actually got out of stock right before I was about to order it so, I ended up not being able to get it. Again, I still want it. And I had thought about getting that character in a different sculpt. But every time I think about it, I'm just like, no, it has to be that one. So, I might change my mind and just get a different sculpt if I don't eventually get that doll. But, yeah. Um, Freddy Krueger, what is your worst doll nightmare? And has it happened or not? Um... To be honest, my worst nightmare is actually breaking one of my dolls. Like, I can't imagine breaking, like, Kira is, I feel like, one of the most delicate of my dolls because she is actual resin. Alex is plastic. He's pretty sturdy. I've knocked him around a few times and he is perfectly fine. Kira, basically, I've done the same thing and she is perfectly fine. No chips, no scratches, nothing. But it still makes me deathly nervous that, like, one day she just, her hands will break or her feet because she has three, the three, or wait, four pronged foot, feet. It's like, it goes like this in the front and then it's like one in the back. I'm afraid one of those will break one day and it, it'll make me really, really sad. Um, but luckily she's resin soul and I can just order more pieces if I really want to. So, there's that. So yeah, just breaking one of my dolls. Um, uh, well, I was afraid of staining, which her hands are stained. Why? I don't know. I didn't really do anything different than I normally do. So her hands just ended up being stained because of the pink. And even her head is a little stained. But you can barely tell. Um doesn't really matter. I don't plan on ever selling any of my dolls. Um, like I've uh, said in many different videos, I've always been like, everything else can go as long as I keep these two and those two. So, um, yeah. Uh, Jason Voorhees, if you were going to make Halloween costumes for your dolls, or if you plan to, what costumes would you make? Um, actually, because I wasn't going to put them in a costume, they're either going to be in Halloween-themed clothing, so like Alex and his 
sugar skull pants, I forgot the words, and then something else more Halloween-y up here. And then Kira's already kind of Halloweened out, actually. She has her spider orange spiderweb scarf, um, a black shirt, uh, and the skirt with the skull around the overall part. And, yeah. So they're Halloween themed, but let me see if I can grab these from in here. Where are they? They're at the very bottom. So Amber made these like forever ago when I first, well she made this when I first got Alex. Oh, shortly after I, well, I got Alex in the summer. I met Amber in October last year. But shortly after talking to her for a while, she made, she's starting to make onesies. So I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to put them in these for Halloween, just as if these are their costumes and then let them be in it for a while. Because I don't put them in these enough. <laughs> I really don't. I love these. And for whatever reason, I always forget that I have them. So Alex is a wolf. I have videos of me opening them and the dolls in them. So you can always check that out. Later. Wait, oh, okay. I was like, how does this work? And then this one's a dragon. Did I say this is a wolf? I don't know if I said this is a wolf. So, I want to do one for Nightcrawler. Let's see if she'll make him one after I get him. But we'll see. So, I'll dress them up in those most likely if I don't put them just in, you know, Halloween ish clothing. <clears throat> Let's see. And for the last one is Chucky Possessed Doll. Have you ever been scared of dolls or certain dolls? Be honest. Not really. Like, the only dolls that kind of creep me out are porcelain dolls, and they really don't creep me out anymore. Um, oh. When, um, a long time ago, my grandmother had this room where my sister stayed in. I did not, because I was too creeped out. Um, my brain died. It just stopped. Oh, and it was just full of porcelain dolls. Like, shelf porcelain dolls, shelf porcelain dolls, dresser porcelain dolls. So, all those eyes and the porcelain just blank faces. Because they're all like... I'm just like, eh. Mm. But that was like many, like 10, 12 years ago. Wait, no. Probably went there when I was 12, so. 13 years ago, maybe? I don't know. It was a while ago. Those don't bother me anymore, obviously. But that's gonna be the end. And I hope you guys liked this last Halloween tag before the end of Halloween. Um, and to me, Halloween starts from, like, halfway in the middle of September all the way to the end of October, so, <laughs> my brain. <laughs> but, um, Halloween month is almost over, sadly. Sadly. But it's okay. It's okay. But I did this tag, I wanted to make sure I did it before the end of Halloween. So, um, I... Uh, I'm doing it now, and I'm going to try and post it tomorrow. I'll probably end up posting both of these tags tomorrow for the sake of I just don't feel like putting them up on two different days. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, if you do, if you decide to do this, just... And all the, all the questions will be below. I'm losing it, I'm sorry. Um, but if you decide to do this, just let me know so I can keep an eye out and watch your video. Um, because I made this shirt. Sure. You have an issue. Okay, anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!